Hello guys, it is me, the Desert Fox, and we are back with another Total War, or Total War Rome 2 Siege Battle. This is sent in to me by Octavian. Uh, this is the other uh, battle replay that he had sent in to me with the last week's Epirus replay. Um, he is attacking. Uh, he has one partner from that previous video also, which I think is playing Rome. No, he's uh, the guy from the other video is playing Gete, who's over there. So the attackers here this is a 3v3 and so our attackers today are going to be the Seleucids we have Rome and we have Gete I have not seen Gete in a battle yet um let's see what they got uh noble noble swords this looks yeah I think this is supposed to be like a like a Byzantine I don't know what type of area I think a Byzantine area um but then uh, we are, are we are uh they are attacking against what is that uh that is sparta another seleucid army and egypt and i just want to point out over here we do have a couple of oh, we have a siege tower over here and a scorpion or not a scorpion a uh, uh a tortoise i think that is right uh yeah i think that is and then we have it looks like either cav yeah we have cav and an arty unit which i don't know what the purpose of all of having it back here does but i'm assuming they can that arty can shoot into the back of that city so uh let's get a move on here all right and without further ado that's the army comps so oh, so we're gonna just kind of take a look here at these uh the seleucid army comp and then we'll go through so he's bringing, it looks like, four units of heavy archers. And again, I think the army comp rules were one, were the one, two, four rules, the standard rules, which is four, uh, four archers, two pikemen unit, and uh, I think it's one art, or it's max one artillery. Uh, he's bringing, looks like some hey, royal peltis, some, yeah, he's bringing thorax swordsmen. Thorax swordsmen are pretty much the backbone of this, of the uh, Seleucids. Um, yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, Rome looks like they're bringing, yeah, they're bringing, what is that? Velites, uh, Velites or Velites. Uh, they're bringing some Syrian archers, probably one of the best units in the game. Praetorian Guard, again, and they're upgraded, so that's going to be, that's going to be pretty tough. And also, hi, Kitty. Uh, we have Evocati Cohort, uh... What do we got over here? We got some legionary cohort. Oh man, that's gonna be rough. That's that's a that's a backbreaker right there. Um, so I do want to let you guys know. I don't want to swear in the video, like use the expressive word. Uh, but the name of the battle replay that was given to me was holy f word. So um, I didn't actually have. Also, I don't know why Gete is not attacking here. Uh, Gete should one hundred percent be attacking. Be oh, he is rolling up his. Uh, his towers. It might be. I do want to let you guys know. I, this one might be a little laggy. Uh, looks a little laggy, at least from up here. But let's. Ooh. Um. Oh, my sound's all the way. There it is. That's why my sound's down. My volume was down. Oh. I was like, why am I not hearing anything? But there, we'll turn it down just a just a hair. Uh. So yeah, we have. We have some walls, our siege towers are approaching the walls, and ooh, ooh. Taking, trying to take out that artillery unit, uh, did he? Oh, he did. But he should probably turn his, uh, his archers off there to save the ammo. Um, oh, and we got, we got, uh, a sally off in the Egyptian cavalry. It's just, it's just Egyptian cavalry, there's no, like, fancy name to it. Uh, but he's got Hillman. Um... Actually, that's a really good use of that cavalry. Uh, just eating up a weaker unit. It's kind of a waste, but he, he can get the kills, I guess, to get his money's worth. But they're all... They're, they're, it's a cheaper... <sighs> Alright, Octavian... Good play there. Good good swallow up of that uh, unit. Just because it weakened... Yeah, it weakened the one, and then it, the one's still full strength. But he's got to be careful here. Uh, does he have any cav? Uh, just as general back here, protecting that artillery unit, which is... Ajima, Ajima, Ajima. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, Royal Peltis, and uh, yeah, he has. A, yeah, he does a cataphract. So the Egyptian calf should probably be careful. Uh, we do have tortoises hitting the walls, and he is going for that siege tower. So he's. Oh, 
and they put deployables. Some guys hate deployables. I I kind of like deployables. And here is my argument. I understand it makes kind of the game a little buggier in some for some people's rigs. Um, but if you have a rig that can play them, why not run them? You know, in a real battle for a real city between real armies, they're going to use everything. I'm talking this. They will use someone's bathroom. They, they'll just throw a bathroom in the street. It does not. I've, I've never experienced that myself. But you, in, in terms of like a, in history, you know, when we read about battles and study battles. If, so for a historical concept, some people hate them in terms of a gameplay aspect. But for the, you know, for realism's sake, I'm glad they're in the game. And people use them. I use them. I love them. I love the shit out of them. <laughs> um, it looks like, yep, The we have first. Ooh, here we go. What is this? Uh, Igu, Evil Kadi co uh, Cohort versus... Um, what is that? Thorax Swords? Oh, that Thorax Swords going to get eaten up. But he has some Peltus in support here. Uh, look, ooh, that's such a cool... Oh, ooh, too far, too far. That's kind of a really cool shot of these guys. Oh, they're all bloody too. Let me... That's pretty cool. Sometimes I like to come through and grab a screenshot of stuff that I like. Uh, but Rome's on the wall. He's also capturing that siege tower, uh, which will help. Um, Rome is now flanking over his cav, either in support or... Ooh. What is this? Oh, the enemy sent out his chariot. Oh, so the enemy general has a chariot unit. Uh, now it looks like... Falks? Falsman? Falsman? Falk? Thalixman? I'm not sure how that X is supposed to be pronounced. Um... Man, ooh. right here, I kind of wish I could use the, uh, here, let's use a tactical map here. So, for a tactical situation, that cab is, ooh, we can go over here and check that out. We might be a cab engagement. That Also, we have the enemy cab back here. Um, we have another cab unit here for the uh, ally, or for our allies here that are attacking. And it just looks like they're just, he does not have a lot of pressure here, and also his troops are still too far back. These guys need to get closer to the wall and get away from that cab and get some space on themselves. And that artillery unit should be should start either moving closer to the riverfront and getting these guys from the back, or also Gete needs to be just bum, just pounding that wall. Just needs to be blitzing that that side. So let's see what happens. Ooh, what do we got? Thorax swordsman and Hillman. Uh, that's that's gonna go to the Thorax swordsman hands down but that you know it should weaken them um yeah we have helena cataphracts and thorax oh he put his pikemen over there that's kind of strange i don't know why you would want to do that but okay um i don't it looks kind of like they have to get where for the capture i think the capture point for this map is right here and if I'm a betting man, if they have to fall back, there might be balls here. Like, uh, the fiery balls of justice. <laughs> uh, but there's still that a chariot. Ooh. Sorry, guys, about being a little more all over the place this video. Uh, going into it with absolutely no, <laughs> no knowledge of any of this. I should have, like, <laughs> the previous video I had watched at least the first 45 seconds just to kind of get a glimpse of what was going on. Uh, not for this video at all. Uh, but it looks like we have Evil Cotted Cohort. Mm, it says steady, but they're losing decisively. And yeah, they're losing sl Yeah, this is against Thorax. Oh, well, I think they had the extra Thorax unit pelting and Thorax unit pelting down. What is that? Oh, man, that's... Oh, he's uh, sending in his Praetorian Guard way too early, I think. But if he wants to shatter aside and help secure, you know, this Gete front for Gete, while uh, applying pressure in general to other fronts to help his uh, Seleucid ally down here, he yeah he needs to hold that till Gete gets his troops to move forward. Also, we had Cav do a charge, I believe, with the general. Yeah, the general is taking a lot of damage. And the Equites didn't take quite as much. And it looks like we got some archers shifting around here. And what is this? That's that's Legionary Cohort. That's going to do fine against this Thorax Swordsman, I think. Yeah. 
And, yeah, he's going to take out that pikeman unit to just... Oh, that's going to be a backbreaker for that Seleucid army. You need to preserve your pikeman for as long as possible. Because they are the choke point holders of this game. All right. That Thorax Swordsman unit is going to get destroyed. That Thorax Swordsman unit, the enemy Seleucid Thorax Swordsman unit, is probably about to be destroyed. And it looks like... Oh, he's not protecting those uh, those Peltas at all. And they're just getting just, just rained on. Um, all right. I'm getting a sense we might get our first sets of retreat here. Yeah, because look, we have choke point setups here with Spartan Pikemen. Two sets stacked on top of each other. That's... Oh, that's a bitch and a half plus tax. There's, there's no getting through that. There is an archer unit there. That's Rhodesian Slingers. He has his other pike unit. Uh, yeah, he has his other pike unit and another Rhodesian Slinger falling, like, kind of sliding back here. And he has Spartan Hoplites. Two of them, I think. Yep, both of them double stacked on that corner supporting that front. So all Egypt has to do basically here is get his archers back slowly as he needs to. Uh, looking at that defender's point of view here. Um... Because he might... Oh, fuck. Um, the uh, the enemy, the defending Seleucid army is kind of getting too double-sided here by Rome and by Gete. Rome seems to have done the bulk of the work here just to get in. Um, which is fine. Because in this situation, they didn't ban Rome, so I'd rather see Rome get exhausted first. Uh, and, and in all fairness, you know. And just see what's left of them afterward i'm hoping and i hope that that was the plan all along because he has four six uh uh what is that seven yeah he has seven infantry units left that aren't being used he's got two cav units he's got four archer units he has five units of infantry in the battle uh whereas the bulk of the roman army is pretty much in the conflict and the bulk of uh, the Seleucid attacking army is in, in the conflict at some point or somewhere. Uh, we do have some advancing uh, here. Uh, we have Thorax and Hillman. That's a broken Hillman unit, uh, but I'm, I'm feeling like that's kind of it's the purpose of it, just to yeah beat that ammo. Um, hmm. We have 30 minutes left in this battle. Man. Uh, so far, kind of... What? Where are they getting shot at from? Who's shooting at them? Oh, oh, damn. Oh, it's the Syrian archers. Oh, and it's melting those Egyptian archers. Yeah, there's nothing you can do about that. He just needs to get all his archers back to a higher ground somewhere or further back. Yeah, get, get them to the Spartan archers and let them just help out. Uh, oh, we had a chariot charge. Man, I'm missing all the cab charges today, buddy. Oh, he's just kind of dragging it through that uh, that Roman unit and this uh, Thorax Swordsman unit here. Oh, he's not... What? Did they stop or there's a... Oh, no, he's, he's taking them out. Yeah. That's the... Gen oh, that's not the general. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, they're broken. Will they complete a charge? Yep, they will complete a charge. Oh, that's a rear charge. That's a shattering unit. Yeah, they pretty much ate that entire unit. So they just went unit for unit. Oh, another... He's going to get another one. Oh... That unit had 33 left. That unit was, I think, healthier. Or just about healthy. Oh, and there goes the end of the uh, the chariot. So at least we got some cav action here. Um, archers are over there. Oh, the other... Oh, it's the Praetorian Guard. He has both of his units of Praetorian Guard in this fight. Oh, and he threw his Equites in there, too. 
That chariot unit is uh that Man, they are they are doing some weird that's a weird fight right there. I, I, I don't really know who... Not, I mean, it looks like the defenders are losing, but at the same time, they are just roy, raining down fire arrows on the attackers. Uh, does have that chariot unit in there. He's got a lot of units, very valuable units that are just getting eaten up. He needs to get these Praetorian Guard out of there. You want to save them for later. That's your heavy hitters. Um, they still aren't giving up this main gate yet. If that's actually fairly well, because they do have, it looks like, one, two, three units of calves sitting outside those walls. I mean, they can come through that gap, but it'd be a little more risky. Uh, for our Seleucid friend, um, he is engaged. Oops, sorry. He's engaged. Thorax Swordsman and Royal, uh, Royal Thorax Swordsman. So I'm assuming these are like the bigger cousins of these guys, but. They're fighting in the stones. That's fine. Uh, are we going to get a flank here? We are, and it's Royal Pelpis. Because those Syrian archers, uh, they're, they've they got... A, how many kills is that? That 49. That 56. That's got 9. Oh. Yep. Just raining in... Oh, just getting hit with all that skirmish ammo. Just write them down, men. Kill them with the spears. Don't touch them. Don't touch them. Oh boy. That, that's uh, that's yeah. But he now he sees that. Now he's gonna counter with another royal thorax. So these are probably his elite units. It looks like. Yep. All right. Oh, that's gonna that's that's a deciding fight over there. Uh, we do have two units here. It looks like uh, Thorax Swordsman, Thorax Swordsman. It's it's four units of Thorax Swordsman, and they're just swinging. Look at it. Let's get in here. I can you besides the banners hanging above their heads? Can you genuinely tell what side is which? Uh, actually, you kind of can. Yeah, these guys are kind of yeah. They're the white kind, and these are blue. All right. But down here, like <laughs> what? Tom? What? John? What? what? What are you doing on the other side? I don't get it, but I gotta bash your head in. Oh, boy. Back over here. Let's check on this. See how this is developed. Oh, uh, 102. 153. 134. 91. Oh, that looks like the Egyptians might take that. And that front's about to get broken. Um... Our Seleucid friend here is pretty exhausted himself on those Egyptians. They haven't even gotten to the Spartans yet, if they need to. But Rome, Rome looks like he's got enough. Gete looks like he's moving his stuff in. All right. Oh, they... Well, look at that. Everything is on fire down here. Look at the carnage. That Thor... What is that? Yeah, that's Thorax Swords. They just don't want to break. That's honorable. Stupid, but honorable. Just at that point, run. Yeah, because they're this whole part of the city looks like it's been taken. So from a tactical map standpoint here, uh, this quadrant, I would say, is kind of clear. There's just some cleaning up here. Oh, we have a cav sally, looks like, or cav engagement uh, over here. Oh, it's general to Egyptian cav. Oh, okay, so that's not too bad. And that's... Uh, Egyptian Cav to Royal Peltis. So, oh, okay, so he's trying to get a flank in there. Mm, hmm. Yeah, that... Unfortunately, I think our friend here is uh, pretty exhausted as uh, his forces. He needs to get that general in there and get, uh, get a good deciding blow. That Thorax Swordsman unit's finally breaking, so all of these troops are now freed. Gete was holding the front, looks like, for them. So, uh, as I was saying from the tactical map standpoint, it looks like this quadrant to about here is clear for the attackers. Back here, different story. All of this, different story. But, here and here, 
it looks like uh, the attackers have the, that parts of the city. So these quadrants, these neighborhoods, are under under enemy control or attacker control. I would say. Uh, but uh, unless this is the end of the Egyptian army, I. Yeah, honestly, it could be. He's had to fight pretty much a 1v1 against that Seleucid army, so I, they both could be exhausted. Uh, Sparta... Yeah, I was going to say, Sparta looks like she, he he's just setting up. Yeah, he's got his pikemen down here. What is that, double stack pikemen? Double stack pikemen with Rhodesian slingers. He gave up. Oh... Oh, if the Egyptians have to fall back, all they have to do is get to this choke point. Oh, that's sneaky. I wouldn't even give it up. I wouldn't even fall back at that point. We do have another, it looks like this. What is this? This is Thorax and uh, Praetorian Guards. How did, damn, both those Praetorian Guard units. Hey, ooh. Excuse me. Uh, the one Praetorian Guard unit. That's 29 men, has 115 kills. Yeah, I know. He didn't get anything. That guy just got 135, so that's not too bad. Yeah, but these units will pretty much fight to the death. But he's just getting pelted. What is that, Cretans? Yeah, that's Cretans. He's, yeah, they're going to eat them units. Um, hmm. We got going here oh the end of the syrians yeah these syrians are done for so they're just they're just yeah, marching right into them oh okay yeah the gete looks like they're holding that front all of these guys looks like they're clearing out this this side um I, come on seleucids It's a healthy unit. Healthy. Uh, uh, you know what? They might take that. The Egyptians do look pretty spent here. Um, yeah. Wow. Pikemen. That pikeman unit just walked up and that whole unit's gone. Whatever was there is now gone. Whatever over here. That's... Yeah, those Royal Thorax are just not... That's some hardcore stuff there. Yeah, we did get his Cav and another Pikeman unit, so... And I like that he's escorting them with the Cataphracts uh, over there. His General is kind of right here. I think he's entering in, hopefully, to get Cav charge on that. Uh... Oh, yep, here we go. Charging, what is that, pikemen? Yep, that is, no, that's just Royal Spartans, and they're being charged at by, looks like, Equites, Equites, Equites. That's all of the calf. That is, oh my lord, that is also the general. So he, is, Legolas is on the, ba or Legatus is on the battlefield, and he might die. <laughs> Got about 19 minutes left of the battle. Cav is uh, going all over the place at this point. We have another engagement over here on this uh, this block. So they're pretty much, I think, switching back and forth from block to block. Because there's nothing over here. So I don't know what in the hell they are thinking. Oh, that's a nice little hammer and anvil idea. Huh. Yep. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, Egypt got that flank. That's Royal Peltis, yep, against Thorax, and those two units still combined about 
hundred, two hundred men. All right. Over here, it is Royal Spark. Oh, sick. Gete's still just kind of chilling over here. He's got four units, uh, Noble Swords. Looks like he's moving two in now. He's got two units of Dacian, Dacian, da yeah, da Dacian Heavy Bowmen. Uh, he's sending, oh, he's sending everything. He's moving now. Okay, cool. He's got two units of Spear Horsemen back there. And he's got Noble Spears. So I'm hoping that if these guys were to move down, that these Noble Spears move up to cover their flank. Um, oh, man, the Solicitors have got to hurry here. He's got to get past these guys and get that Cav in there to kind of take these guys out. he can't even attack the Spartans to a land. But at that point, he might just want to consolidate down the street here to Gete at least and take up that center street uh, and leave a unit here to cover the flank. Leave a pikeman unit. And it looks like uh, Gete's moving up his arty. I uh, don't know what for, but I hope it's funny. Uh, no, no, no fiery balls of justice for this battle. That's a little, not going to lie, it's a little disappointing. Um, oh, that was a nice archer uh, skirmish shot down. Yep, he's moved his uh, infantry there to cover that flank. These guys are there. It looks like they're coming up to the front. Yep. Cav, uh. Cav is now in. That's cataphracts. Uh, that's that's. It's got pikemen there too. All right, so we are coming down to the end of this battle, and and this has been a lot of fun watching this. Balance of power. Uh, it it, it still looks dead even. That gets a unit been eaten. Um, oh, the Thorax Pikeman. Yeah, I'm just eating that unit of Thorax Swordsman. Yep, break, broke him. Oh, Cataphracts into the enemy general. Cataphract took one unit, uh, took one casualty to that word. The cav for the uh, defenders took like 12. Probably going to get that general, which I hope he does, and help out a lot. Uh, it's kind of a blob between these two, like, choke points. Kind of weird, because it's this one is kind of closer to this one than it is in the middle between the three of them. It's like, f like four or five streets. You have this one, and that one, and this one, and these two, these three, yeah, there's like six on that that you can choose from. That's actually kind of expansive and nice. I wonder, oh, it'd be cool if you can kind of cut through the, like, right there. Um, General over here, he's down to 21. Yeah, he's, he's done. That guy's gone. Royal Thorax Swordsman against those pikes. Those pikes have 103 kills. Yeah, hammer and anvil, boys. Get them. It's basically pikemen with pikemen on horses. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're, they're about to get eaten. So I think Egypt is off of the map, out of the game. I could be wrong. Gete seems to have the most troops left, minus Sparta. Aside from for the attackers, um, yeah, he's still got all that back there. Three units of cav. Yeah, they consolidated. They left a unit over there, and then they're kind of just. Oh man, this is a fairly good battle. Oh, 
knuckle crack. Had some, uh, looks like they, yeah, it is Syrians. They still have some ammo. That's nice. Uh, but it looks like that was their, yep, yeah, no, they still have ammo. Move this pikeman up against the wall to not get shot at. That's nice. Put him under covering fire. He's just leaving those pipe in there to get pelted. <laughs> no pun intended. To be pelted. Um, we do have an engagement here. It, oh, what? Oh, that's a little BSE. So I think what he did here is he used his artillery unit with one shot left or a couple shots left and drove it up the street into the unit, which breaks their formation and kind of auto routes a unit because that unit's down to 96 i don't know if he's been shot at or killed that that's a little that's a little mm, i'm not going to say that and get myself in trouble uh oh everything over here has been killed by the spartans because there's one pike two spear cretans yeah there's five units six units yeah five units defending there Don't do that. Don't don't take your artillery straight up the. Don't be toxic like that. Somebody was moving. I don't know who. That cataphract unit has 173 kills. And that pikeman unit, in these two pikeman units, have lost a combined like 40. From this double stack, this is fine. You know, it's totally fine to have your, your pikemen double stack like this. It's they're, You're going to spend a lot of men getting through it if you've are if you got to get through that. Uh, but, at the con, at, uh, but at the price of, you know, two of your more valuable units for, that, for choke point holding are now going to be stacked on top of each other and extremely vulnerable to archers, especially if your archers are either not good enough or just out of range to hit their archers. Uh, looks like Legatus is uh, down here at the other side of the map. Looks like they are rallying up some cav for a nice cav battle. I'm hoping there's an, uh, we're going to get another cav charge. Because they are going to have to break something. Oh. So, apparently it looks like you can go around the back and all the way around and through like snake yourself through if you wanted oh that would be kind of cool to see his already i don't know why he didn't move it i don't understand that he could have used it to take out you know help his friend here and uh oh he did have a couple more units okay so he's oh god he has his pike there both pike units uh it looks like hellenic guard for both of them I was about to say, I didn't see any uh, Egyptian pikes, but I didn't know if uh, Egyptians had pikes in the rosters. Ah, come on. Let's check the uh, slaughter of these pikemen units, because he's just sitting there. you got to move them. you got to... Uh, I mean, yeah, good good on you uh, Syrian Seleucid archers, but <laughs> bad on the uh, the Athens... Or the Athens player. It's just because that stupid A... Oh, that stupid symbol. Uh, it looks, resembles an A and I think Athens, but Athens is blue and are uh, usually blue and Sparta is red. But those f freaking Seleucid archers and these Gete archers are just being able to rain hell upon these these pikemen. And they Sparta needs to move them. Uh, his pikemen seem to kind of have that spot held. And these guys are just kind of throwing themselves at at each other hard um Gete's out of men minus the general so Gete that's all Gete's got so Gete's got what he's got left Rome's got nothing left minus the Cav which he's got both units over here um Oh, he's now using the artillery to fire, I think, over here on this concentration of troops. Is there a way to see that? Yep. 
yeah, he's firing on these, uh, um, uh, these pikemen, these Hellenic Royal Guard. And it looks like uh, Octavian and the Rome player are moving all of the uh, Cav over to this flank. I think they want to try to... Well, I'm going to word this very carefully. Uh, I, th I think they're going to try to backdoor him here, uh, come through one of these back streets. Honestly, you could send one unit to take the capture point and just send the rest up the back here. Because the, the, the main way to take out your your enemy's pikes or spears is to flank them. You gotta get around those flanks. You gotta get around those corners. Uh, oh. Oh, that's bike, uh, that Spartan pikeman units. Uh, not doing too well now. We have Royal Spartans out. We have shield bearers. Oh. So, yeah. Seven minutes to go. Man, this is... It says it's in favor of the attackers just barely. I, I can see it. Uh, they have th pretty much that quadrant and all of that taken. So they, they've got, I would say, about half the city. You know, that neighborhood's theirs, 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 and all of that's all theirs. It's, it's really this that that pocket they're just so densely compact in there uh we do have cav over here so let's uh let's go check out what's going on it looks like levy pikemen are gonna hold that that uh street and then you got citizen cav back here so he could oh yeah he's gonna snake yep what's he got going Yep, just get him on the back. Oh, cut him off so he can't retreat. I like that. Yep, their general's dead. They'll probably shatter a lot easier. Hi, kitty. Uh, it's pikemen now. It's pikemen time. So it looks like the pikemen are going in. They're fighting against another pikemen unit that has 16 and 70. Oh, these are good. This is easy work down with this pikemen unit. Oh, yep. Got the flank. Wow. Got the flank. Yep, and now they're going to use that citizen cab desperately. He'll probably try to click through. I wouldn't be surprised, but yeah, he's going to. Yeah, he's trying to sneak that unit through. Yeah, you just got to. Yeah, at that point, you just kind of click into that box and then you just keep going. And anyone that gets around that corner, you send into the back of that army. Yep, and here they go. Oh, this is cool. We're going to ride this one. Where's he going? Hi. Hi. Hi, kitty. Oh, right into the back of him. Oh, look at all that death. <laughs> That's a lot of death. That's it. That had to be it. Look at that. Oh my lord. There are so many units just dead. And it didn't it didn't kill them all. That didn't do anything. It just shoved them forward. Yep, yeah, that's 141 kills, 0 2. 140, 100. Oh man, up to 160. He'll probably break 170 before he calls him back off again. Yeah. Oh, no, he'll get 165. He's. Yeah. Alright, cycle charge, boys. Just keep going. Yep, yeah, you just gotta hold that corner. Yep, and here come. Yep, Legatus. Or the Equites are able to get through. Another cab charge. Sorry about that. I'm just doing this one-handed now. Yep. He's just getting just just backdoored by the cavalry. And this cab is just kind of he. Oh, that was perfect. Just using the uh, the cataphracts to eat these guys up. He'll probably eat both of them. 
That's two. He's up to two hundred kills. Uh, and that that pikeman battle didn't last long. He's up to one hundred and fifty kills. The slingers are done for. Uh, yeah, everyone's falling back. There's three minutes left in the battle. The Cavs, the Cavs charging forward. Yeah, they've had enough. Yep, they're gone. That Helena cow, that Cataphrag unit has almost got 300 kills. Oh man, this was great. This was a great battle, actually. It it was worthy of the title <laughs> that was emailed to me. So, um, yeah, that was great. So thank you again. Uh, shout out to my Total War Realm Two Siege boys, uh, Octavian, and Roman up. So thank you for the battle again, guys. And I'm just pretty much gonna try to wrap this up here in the next two minutes. Uh, what else do I see? Oh, cat. Cat, don't try nothing stupid. Please don't. Please don't hurt yourself, cat. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, that, that's probably it. But I'll, can we fast forward now? Yeah, now we can fast forward. Yeah, we have just units kind of kind of breaking. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, those those Royal Spartans aren't breaking for shit. So I can see why where their frustrations at. Yeah, they aren't breaking. They are just getting stronger, actually. <laughs> that uh, Ajima Cav has almost three hundred kills themselves as well. down to the final seconds of this battle. I'm pretty sure this is just they concede. It looks like it looks like the they just didn't have enough. Oh. Oh, they took it. Oh, they took it. So the, I think that's the game. Yeah. They took the city center. So they hold the city by technicality. Yeah, they shatter these enemy units. So this is an attacker victory for the siege battle guys and i'm that was that was a glorious battle um so yeah i've been your host desert fox this has been war wednesday this has been total war rome 2 on war wednesday because we do siege battles here on wednesday because it is war wednesday and uh please remember to like share comment and subscribe again shout out to octavian and romanov for this battle and i will see you guys in the next one